Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Evgeny Bugaev. I am the manager of the company Uterra Middle East Agro Industries, and now we are on our site where a plant, several complexes and several stages of Uterra production will be built in the future. I would like to tell you a little about our product. Uterra is a unique product that will green desserts and allow agriculture to reach a new level of productivity in the production of household products. Now I will show you what we are going to produce. Here it is, this product. We are already ready for implementation. That is, we have already produced a trial batch. As you can see, our label is already in English. We are ready to go around the world. And this product was currently manufactured here in Minsk in our testing laboratory where it was created. Therefore, we are ready, we are going around the world. Let's now talk a little about the plant itself. We plan to produce up to 10 million liter bottles per year. According to our calculations, this will just meet the needs of the largest agricultural countries closest to us, such as India and Indonesia. And at the moment, we are already looking for suppliers. People who are interested in our product contact us. They are ready to buy it in large quantities. We are working on the commercial component. There is a product. All that remains is to build a factory and start producing. The market is already ready for it. Let's talk a little about the plant. As you can see, we specifically went to record, so to speak, the zero phase to show where it began, that there is nothing here at all. This is a desert. It's not even a desert. It's something between a desert and rocks. The rocky surface, as you can see, uh, is um, our site that we rented. The area of this site is about 32,000 square meters. This area is flat. Uh, we spent a long time choosing the area. We spent a long time choosing where to build our plant. The width of the site is about 100 meters. The length of the site is about 320, 330 meters. It ends right there. The asphalt road is not visible now. That is, communications are connected. Everything runs near the asphalt road. Electricity, water. In terms of logistics, it is very convenient because there is an asphalt road. The width of the site is about 100 meters. It varies. That is, here it is about 98 meters along the back wall of the site. There it is about 100 meters wide. Here, in principle, we record the zero phase of our site when there is nothing yet, so that we can see and show everyone how it is all progressing, how we are building, how we are developing. As for the construction itself, at the moment we have already reconsidered the approach because we initially assumed that financing would be provided in a shorter time frame. Initially, we had a project at once. We built it all, that is, the whole complex included a laboratory, a production complex, a greenhouse, an indoor greenhouse, open areas, beds, where we would just test, not test, but show how our, the product works. It has already been tested many times, but now we have reconsidered our project in terms of the fact that we have divided it into stages. This allows us to do the following. First of all, it allows us to start production here as soon as possible. That is, we separated all the auxiliary and secondary components of our project. We moved them a little to the right along the timeline. And now we have focused our attention and focused specifically on the construction of the production complex. The production complex, of course, will not come out immediately. It will not produce 10 million liters per year as we planned. We want to launch a line of about 1,000 tons. 1,000 tons per year. And this line will allow us, firstly, to immediately find the raw material base here and select components. Because what we do in Minsk here, we can optimize and change the methodology a little, the approach to the production of the product, because the raw materials here are a little different. A little different. In Minsk, the same manure. 
feet has one consistency. And here we will have time to select the optimal raw materials for the production of our product. That is the first stage. The first stage involves the construction of a production complex, a laboratory in which there will be a line for the production of our product, and there will be a laboratory that will subsequently and immediately begin to improve the product. That is, experiments will take place there. That is, this process of continuous improvement of our product will take place in this laboratory. And in parallel, in this laboratory, we intend to install a production line for bottling our product into the required packaging. These will be litre bottles, 5 litre canisters, 20 litre canisters. Well, for large consumers, it will be Euro cubes. If you pay attention to our site, it will be approximately closer to the asphalt road. That is, that part of our site will be occupied by a laboratory. Then our second stage will be the construction of the main production complex. It is already closer here, to us, along with a dormitory for workers. Well, this part of the site is closer to the mountains, which looks like we will have greenhouses here, we will have indoor greenhouses, open beds, and here we will show how our product works outdoors without air conditioning. All this will be implemented here. I briefly told you about our plans for the near future. As I already said, in addition to the fact that at the first moment an organization called Utera Middle East Agro Industries LLC was created and registered in the production zone where we are now. In the second stage, we rented this plot, that is, we signed an agreement with Rakiz. The first stage is to lease it for five years. But in general, our agreement provides for the lease of this site for 80 years. What else has been done? It is important that we start. That is, it is clear that at the basis, at the heart of any project, there is design work, design work to begin, design work. We have already entered into an agreement with a consultant who will further adapt all of our all of our project documentation to the standards of this, to the standards of the legislation of this country. We hired a company that did geology surveying and gave us an official report. Based on this report, our designers and our consultants have already begun to design the first stage. The most basic thing that any construction project begins with is the fence. At the moment, we have already ordered fencing. We spent a long time choosing and chose the optimal supplier because we had been communicating with the Turks for a long time. In China, there were five offers from China for the supply of our fencing. And finally, we decided to find the optimal supplier, both in terms of timing and price. We have signed a contract. Now we are making the first advance payment and we are promised production within 25 working days and delivery will be delivered immediately. We will begin construction. But since we are assuming that our fence will consist, roughly speaking, of a mesh, that is of a cheaper fence on three sides of the site, and the main fence, as you can see, let's say, in the example of this plant, you see they have a concrete fence. We should install exactly the same fence around, or rather along our asphalt road. That is, we will literally start building this fence. This is how we will get a general contractor. We have also already decided on the general contractor, so we are ready, we are ready. Construction begins. But basically that's all. In short, congratulations to all of us on the start of the first video report. This is our starting point. Please remember these open spaces, undeveloped. And in the future, as I already said, I have already talked about our immediate plans for the near future. I am ready to come here and show you what we have already done. That is, at the next stage, you will see how we are building a fence, how we are placing the territory for the foundation of our laboratory. You will see how this will all change, so see you soon. Thank you. All the best.